friends, how are you guys? I'm so excited to hang out with y'all. Today we are heading to the post office. I have to return these linen pants. I had to buy linen pants because Michelle said I need to dress comfortable tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm celebrating my birthday with her. My birthday was actually yesterday. If you guys did not watch my birthday vlog, I'll link it down below. I posted it a few days ago. And tomorrow I am celebrating a belated birthday with Michelle. She has the whole day planned for me. We had to push it back until after my birthday because we were just so busy the last two weeks. So I'm really excited for that. I have no idea what we're doing. She says she's going to pick me up at 10 o'clock in the morning and that is all I know. I do know for dinner we're going to Mastro's but we're not going to go to the Mastro's in Costa Mesa that we always go to. We're actually going to the Mastro's Oceanside I believe. Oh I don't know the name but it's right in front of the ocean. It's really pretty and we've never been to that location. So I'm really excited for that. I'm excited to show you guys my outfits because I have like really cute outfits planned and just to hang out with you guys. I love you guys so much. I think after this vlog, we should be back on schedule. I've taken the last two weeks a little bit slow. I've been still working, but just kind of slowing down work a little bit so I can just step back and really enjoy Michelle's birthday and my birthday. But yes, let's go to the post office to return these. These were a large. I ended up fitting into the extra large way better. They were just looser and more comfortable. My stomach was just way too big for the large. We're going to return that and I think I'm going to go to Starbucks. I haven't been to Starbucks in a little bit. I stopped going for a little bit because I think Starbucks every single day was just not good for the bank account but also not good for my health as well because it's just the sugar intake was too much so I think I'm going to treat myself to a Starbucks today. Can I have a grande? I think it's called like a caramel macchiato upside down. Extra ice please okay. and can I get extra caramel in that and that's it today. Thank you so much. Of course. Ah, I think I ordered it right. Uh, it's like I had it one time last week and it was really good, but too sweet. I forgot the two pumps. Oh shoot, two pumps of vanilla. Ah, oh my God, I have to tell her. Hi, my order has two pumps of vanilla and I forgot to say that. Two vanilla? Two pumps of vanilla, yeah. Okay, it comes in three, so. Oh, never mind then. Okay. We don't need it, we're good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, how's your day been so far? Good, how is yours? Yeah, not bad. That's good. Uh, I came into work and we had the tattoos for the Oh, pumpkin. cute! I love it! Oh, uh, yesterday was Pumpkin's 20th anniversary. So. Oh, oh my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> Everyone was putting them on. I was like, I need I would have never known. I was like, that's super cool. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. You too. <laughs> it looks really sweet. So, the other day I was on TikTok and this girl was like, you guys, it's the best drink ever. You have to try it. Dude, TikTok gets me all the time, man. It's so bad. But it's a caramel macchiato upside down with extra caramel. And I got it last week and it was so good. The girl put seven pumps of vanilla and it was just so sweet. I could not finish it, you guys. I think I had like two or three sips and I was like, I need to dilute this somehow. This is something that I get once in a while now because I don't go to Starbucks as often. I used to go every day. It's fairly new to me, but the last two weeks, I've only gone to Starbucks maybe like two times or something so I've been really trying hard just to like save money and also not drink this every day because I feel like that's just too much sugar but you guys this is so good it just it tastes like coffee but also a, a nice dessert let me close this and shake it up Mmm, it's really good. If your barista makes it right, obviously, because every Starbucks is so different. It's a really nice coffee with just a kick of caramel, and it's creamy, and it's delicious. It's like the perfect amount of coffee and sweetness. That's really good. Caramel macchiato upside down with extra caramel. You don't need to add the vanilla, because she said there's already three pumps of vanilla. Oh my god, that's really good. I like it, it's not as sweet today, thank goodness. Friends, look! So our friend Mai, we love her so much. She owns, oh she changed her name, she rebranded. She used to be called Daily Dainty and she's, she was one of my subscribers and I found her on TikTok and then I ended up buying from her shop and she reached out and was like, I'm one of your subscribers. So we've been friends since and she helped us so much with our small business last year. But she rebranded, now she's called Dainty Studio and she custom made me this for my birthday. It says dog mom and then look she put all of the boys names she's literally the best I'll link her shop down below support her small business because she's amazing and then she got our dogs a bunch of gifts yeah these are so cool there's a little scarecrow oh, s'mores. s'more look at this fire 
little thing. <laughs> and then what's this, baby? It's like leaves, like fall stuff. Like, what is it? Acorn? Yeah. And then like leaves and, and stuff. And then she got us a bunch of snacks. And the cool thing is that she bought this from Wolfboard, which is another small business owned by one of our subscribers too. Oh my gosh. I'll link Wolfboard down below. This is where we get all of their like healthy snacks and then all of their vitamins. Cause you know, Mr. Riley George has a, a little limping issue. He's actually way better now, so. And I like Carlos it. is That's jealous really cool. he didn't get a dog dad. It's okay. I can't wear it. Look, it has it has little like uh, Starbucks. Yeah. I this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I well, do like it. It's really let's nice. Let's order one. I like the color. Me too. I'll text her right now. What do you think? Do you think he'll roll over? Yes. No, he's not doing oh it. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh my god. <laughs> there he comes. <laughs> you guys got a bunch of toys, man. What about this one? Thank you, Mom. I love it. Thank you so much. Hey, Casper, say thank you. Casper, look. Oh, wait. Tepe. We forgot to tell you guys. Maya and her boyfriend are also the ones who ended up rescuing Maggie, which was the golden retriever that we were trying to find a new home for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Cooper, what's going Cooper, on here, man? Hey. <laughs> look, 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 at his, look at his face. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so Maggie, the golden retriever, has been living with Maya and her boyfriend for the last few months. I think we're going on three months, and she is so happy. Maggie is like the happiest golden retriever I've ever seen, and I'm just so happy that she found a loving home. And Maya and her boyfriend are amazing. Okay, <laughs> We're watching Snowfall, which is the show on Hulu, and it's all we've been watching for the last week. There's six seasons. You guys have to check it out on Hulu. I'm obsessed. It's like a mixture of Breaking Bad, The Ozark, and Narcos. It's so good if you're into like drugs, sex, money, cartels. These are so ugly because I am so hungry. I need to eat. It's it's 6.40 right now, and I'm trying to cut off my eating at seven. So I just made these really ugly and fast spring rolls. And then I also just have a side of kimchi. Oma made some radish kimchi because during the season with some homemade soybean paste that Oma also made. And then Michelle got me these Korean peppers for part of my birthday meal. And I'm so excited. I love Korean peppers. You dip it in the soybean paste. Mm. So good. I have leftover dipping sauce I made last night. I've never made such ugly spring rolls before you guys, but I'm so hungry. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Why are the meals that you whipped up in like five minutes taste so good? Mm. Bomb. I got a package, you guys, at the door. It's like almost eight o'clock and FedEx came. We were like, what? Oh, it's a family. Oh, it's from Brooke. Oh. Thanks, Brookie. Oh, she ordered from Dick's? I didn't know they sold them next week. Oh, cool. Thanks, Brooke. She said it was coming next week. Maybe oh, early. dope. I'm going to use it tomorrow when I go out with Michelle. I like it. Oh, thanks, Brookie. Yeah, I was like, I didn't order anything from Dick's. Oh, this color is dope. It is. I'm going to use this tomorrow. My best friend has me have me has me what? <laughs> okay. My best friend has me waking have. Mm, why does that sound so weird? My best friend made me wake up this early. Okay. I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning. It's eight thirty right now. I sat in my bed and watched TikTok. I'm making. Oh my gosh! I can't talk. What is wrong with me? I made myself some breakfast, just some scrambled eggs and two pieces of toast. Carlos and I have been loving this toast. It's from Target. It's called Dave's Killer Whole Grain Toast or something like that. 
Mm. I did my hair. I did this little twisty tie pull back thingy and then curled the ends a little bit. I'm just gonna do a quick face change and then Michelle should be here. I have no idea what we are doing today. It's exciting but also very nerve wracking because I'm a very type A person. Like my entire life is on my calendar. Not only do I have a calendar, but I have, oh hey, good morning. Oh my God, you scared that out of me, babe. What I was saying was I'm a very type A person. I have everything organized, everything scheduled. You guys, Michelle and I are the same way. I have like all of our bills written out with dates, how much, emails, things like that. I just, I like knowing what is going on in my life. So the fact that I have no idea what's going on today, it doesn't make me feel too excited. If anyone knows me well, it's Michelle. So I think she definitely planned a really fun day and I'm really excited for that. I'm just kind of like anxious. These eyes are really good. Should be exciting. I'm just rambling on. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm gonna turn on some YouTube and get ready. I make no sense in the morning. I just finished my makeup. We did something super simple. As always, the same look I do all the time. I just popped on a little mascara. Michelle is on her way. I just made her her breakfast because she was gonna stop at Starbucks, but I was like, no, come. I will make you eggs and toast. And the line was super long. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Am I gonna cry? It's like no, nine o'clock no, no. in the morning. No, no. We can hey. do the crying later. Yeah. Yeah, you can do the crying later. Yeah, the crying, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my gift, man. 10 o'clock in the morning. Ah, it's too early. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the f up, you little b Shut up. I actually you... packed, it, packed it last night, so no one knows. Not even my vlog oh knows. Oh my god, I got the Amazon dupe. I know, oh but god. I got you the real deal. <gasps> Thanks, mom. What the f <laughs> <gasps> Oh, you guys, I've been one. Oh my god. <gasps> oh yeah, the Amazon dupe. Don't be like this. No. I got the Amazon dupes in the mail last night. Yeah. It's that shiny Shein material. Oh no. No, no. Oh my god, this is awesome. Wait, is this why you kept asking me? About? The, you're like, don't you like this more, Mom? We're so <laughs> like you. We're so <laughs> obvious. Thanks, Mom. Me trying to get a gauge on like how you feel. Yeah. I'm like, hmm, how do you feel? Oh my god, thanks, Mom. You guys, I've been wanting these PJs since like last year. Now I can be one of the TikTok girlies. Cute. Hello, welcome to the neighborhood. Hello. Oh my god, yeah, Mom, thanks. You should really feel <laughs> the Amazon boots. Okay. Later, later. Okay, now tell me where we're going because like I've been anxious all day okay so i All won't night. tell you what we're go what we're doing but we're going to la oh okay <laughs> okay miss anxiety oh miss anxiety is popping is it something we've been wanting to do yeah i think so i think you'll like it hey don't you, you want like me sleep or something don't man. you want me to enjoy okay, the car? Um, buckle for this long car <laughs> Don't you want me to enjoy the car ride? No, you don't enjoy any car ride. You've never enjoyed a car ride. Are you sure you don't want to tell me? Uh -uh. I'm going to bother you the whole time. No, that's fine. All bother right. me. <sighs> How long is it going to take, Come bother Mom? me, baby. Yeah, you, know where that, you know where that's from? No. That movie? No. The choice or whatever? Okay, right, let's well, go. I'll let you guys know when she tells me because she's not going to tell me. I'm making Michelle tell me. <laughs> Kim has major anxiety, so I'm just going to tell her where we're going. <laughs> So the first activity we Wait, have there's planned. multiple? Yes. First activity okay. we have planned today okay. is we are going to the Titanic exhi <gasps> Exhibition. There's a Titanic Exhibition? Yes. There Where? Is. In LA. Where did you find this? On the internet. Is it real? It's real. Okay. <laughs> what are you, you thought I was lying? Because I've looked everywhere and I've never seen a Titanic exhibition. Yeah, there's one in LA right now. Is that the 12 o'clock appointment? Yes, it is. Oh, you have to make reservations? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so I see that's where the bathroom is. Yes. Okay. Do you feel better? I feel better. Okay, Oh, good. wait, that's it? That's the first. No, you don't get to know your second oh, activity. How many activities your, are there? There are two. Okay, I don't want to know the second one. It's okay. Okay, yeah. The second one is way, it's more in my area. So you'll feel safer. Oh, okay. Like we're out of LA. Okay, are we like back in like... We're in OC. Are we back like near my mom and your mom? Yes. Got it. Okay. You feel better? I love the Titanic. <laughs> you guys, I have this weird fascination with the Titanic. They have like 300 Wait, plus Wait, where did you find this? I look every single day on Google. Yeah, so what had happened was we had mentioned it a couple times and we were like, oh my God, it, was, it would be so cool, but they move it around. Oh my So it was in God. Vegas once and it just so happens to be that it's in LA right now. Shut up. I hope they have the cold water. I hope so too. I don't think we can film in those 
places. They said we can take photos. Okay. I don't know about bringing in our camera. Oh, it's okay. I'll just leave it in the car. But I know we can do something with the phone. Maybe no flash. Okay. Yeah. We made the... We... We... we. <laughs> So excited, huh? <laughs> Good morning. We made it safely to LA an hour and a half because my best friend is the world's best driver. <laughs> she will get you anywhere right on time, even if there's traffic. Oh, yeah. But we made it. It's a huge building. There's a bunch of parking. Thank goodness. I had the biggest doo doo of my life and I went in there and I just released and now I'm relaxed. I don't think we can bring our camera, so I'll try to sneak in little snippets. I'm so excited. Fun fact about me, I love the Titanic. I love learning about it. I love all of the facts that I have learned about it. And it's very, very interesting, even though it's very sad. Okay, bye, see you in there. Hello, we just made it out of the Titanic. We were in there for like 30 minutes. It was actually really cool. They had real artifacts, but I felt like the majority of it was just like photographs. Yeah. They didn't have a lot of like physical items. It was just like photographs yeah. or like postcards. Regardless, it was still really cool to see all the items. It feels very sad and eerie in there. Yes. Like the moment you kind of start, um, it's shaped like the a maze. So you kind of just walk through. It's a self-guided museum. So you kind of walk through and they have like a bunch of different things. The whole thing will take you like maybe 20 minutes to walk through. There is a part that's scary because it's completely dark and you good? <laughs> Michelle doesn't love the dark. So we had to kind of prep ourselves a little bit. <laughs> Regardless, it was really cool. I was kind of disappointed because they don't have the cold water. There's a museum, I think, somewhere in the Midwest and it's the Titanic Museum and it's kind of laid out the same as this where you get a passenger when you enter the building and then at the end you find out if your passenger survived or not but in that Titanic Museum they have like a section where you're able to put your hands in to feel how cold the water was the night that the Titanic sunk and then there's also a section where it's like part of the ship where it tilts to see if you could be able to stand oh. so that's really cool this one was more like laid back but regardless it was really fun. I loved it. I'm like a huge Titanic person. I love watching documentaries and like learning about it. But now we're going to head home. There's no traffic. Uh -huh. We'll be home in like an hour. Can I get a grande? Yeah. A grande upside down caramel macchiato. With extra caramel. With extra caramel. Ice. And extra ice. Got it. And that's all. Uh, Thank you. I got it yesterday. Now I want it again. <laughs> I was supposed to limit myself, man. No, what you mean? I used to go every day. Oh, now I drink we know. water. We know, mom, we know. No, yesterday I was like, I'm gonna have it today and then I'll have it again like next week. Mm. Here we are. Next week, came it's, so soon. I know, <laughs> I blinked and it's here. I took the fattest nap ever. <laughs> it's now almost four o'clock and it's the second surprise of the day and she is so antsy, you guys. Why are you like, why are you like? I'm excited about this one. Okay, you're freaking me out though. Sorry, okay, I'll chill. <laughs> I'll chill. You're good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. She's over here like literally spazzing out. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Can we leave now? No. It's 42. Okay. Is it close by? Semi. We can be there after four. Are you taking me to my mom's house? Yeah. Like I... I set up dinner there, it's great. I brought masters to you. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll let you guys know what it is because she's acting weird. You literally, you're making me feel like I have no, a, like a no, big dookie in my Chill. All right, you guys, we came to the destination. Michelle told me to turn my camera on. I would like you to open the glove box. Will you help my sister out? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I feel like they need to see your reaction. No, like you can, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. The, the thing? Yes. Missy? Yes. Now read it out loud, okay? Why are we at a park? Did you read it out loud? Oh no, I shouldn't assume. I don't know how you would do that. Happy birthday, mom. I hope you have, you've been, I'm already crying. <laughs> Stop. I don't even know what the f*** we're doing. Happy birthday, mom. I hope you, you've been having fun so far. Mom! This last activity is something I hope brings you so much happiness. Enough chit chat. There are friends who have been dying to meet us. Bring your camera because they want to say hi to the vlog. Let's get their gift in the trunk. Who? Do I bring my bag? Actually, let's wait a second. Let's wait a second. You can leave your bag here. Is it Maggie? No. Oh. No, Maggie's too far. Why are we at a park? Who's the friends? Ooh, this is good. This is juicy. <laughs> I think I'm meeting a golden retriever. Am I? How did you get a hold of a golden retriever? <laughs> like I'm gonna show you one golden retriever. I don't, wait, you have a few? <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused. 
I saw a golden retriever. Mom, there's golden retrievers everywhere. Oh. These are our gifts for our friends. What friends? I'm so confused. These are our things for our friends. Why are there so many golden retrievers? I just saw two golden retrievers. That has nothing to do with us. Did you get a bunch of subscribers with golden retrievers and we're doing a meet and greet? I've never seen you panic so much. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Oh my God, did you get a bunch of golden retrievers? Did you? Look, how come there's two over there? Can you tell me now? I'm freaking out. These are our friends. Where did you find our friends? Are they subscribers? Yeah. You got them? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Wait, what? I'm crying. Do I, I look know. okay? Yeah, you look good. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so confused. She didn't tell me anything. Guys. What did you do? have a golden retriever meetup. Where did you find golden retrievers? Oh my These God. are our friends. Oh my God. Hi. That yeah. is very true. Yeah, he's just all, all chunk. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. Do you want to come home? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! Hi. Oh, you don't need a cutest person. Hi. Yeah. Come with me. Let's go. Oh. I know he's behaving so well. Oh my god. Really? Like he really literally a cooper. Oh my god. He's like, bye, mom. Oh. Like mom, dad, look. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. How did you buy golden retrievers? Oh my he said goodness! Love at first sight. They're in love, you guys. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Get home safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, that's like the dopest thing that's ever happened. 
can't talk. Oh my god, mom, what the f I sit and chat? No, let's go home to clap. <laughs> you, I didn't think you had it up your sleeve. Uh. You guys, Michelle just made my dreams come true. I literally was crying. One of my biggest <laughs> dreams in life is to rescue a golden retriever. And of, of course, you guys know we are maxed out right now. We have four dogs. But one day, I will be able to rescue a golden retriever. And I always told Michelle that I would literally die to be in an area filled with golden retrievers. And I never thought this day would happen. I cannot believe you thought of this. Like, this is genius. This is like the best birthday surprise ever. No one can beat this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. And all the subscribers were so sweet. Thank you to everyone who made this happen. Thank you to my bestie. Oh my god, I want to look at the pictures. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at Benzo, you guys. Hi, babe. You are the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and I'm going to leave before you jump out and make your mom's life really Thank yeah. you so much. Bye. Have you guys had these? Okay, I randomly bought them yesterday at Stater Brothers when I was at the cash register line. And they're so freaking good. They're so buttery. And it's got like the perfect amount of salt. How good, mom? Mm -hmm. Like A++. These are good, you guys. You have to try these. Wow. We are just snacking it up. We have Mastro's in an hour, which I'm so excited because I'm going to relive my six ounce steak and shrimp cocktail that I ate last week with you. And I'm eating again next week with Remy. I'm so excited. <laughs> Show me your pill collection. Michelle got me this for my birthday and it's like the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> it's a pill organizer because I bring my pills everywhere. Let me see. I, I have to label them. So. Oh, okay. So this is my pill collection. So this is Advil migraine because sometimes when I drive in the sun and long distance in the car, I get a migraine. Okay. Sometimes Michelle and Carlos do too, so it's okay. good to have them. These are Tums because my belly feels uneasy in the car. Okay. These two are Pepto-Bismol two times. They work two times faster than the regular and mm. they're the gel okay. because I'm allergic to the powder. Okay. And they're you really, are? Yeah, I break out. Oh. <gasps> I told you that, remember a few months ago, I took it and I like broke out in hives on my oh, chest. Oh, that was because of the Pepto? Well, I assume so. I don't know what else would it be because that was the only oh, thing true. I took. I guess. And they're really big, so it covers up two spaces. I could put them over here, but I don't take them that often. To the right, you'll find Tylenol Maximum Strength mm -hmm. for like aches and pains. Mm -hmm. I like it more than Advil. Oh, okay. And to the left, you'll find Bayer's in case anyone around me has a heart attack. You make them chew it instead of swallowing it and it'll help like thin out their blood and just kind of buy them time for the ambulance to come. But you have to chew it. You can't swallow it. You have to make the person having the heart attack chew it. And then to the left is Gas X for gassy things. And then to the right is Zantac for Michelle and I because sometimes we get heartburn. Damn, if that doesn't scream 30, I don't know what does. <laughs> really freaking excited about this I just want to let you know it's like I was so happy packing it you guys before this she was carrying like full-size bottles of each item I'm so not now, kidding now I have to find the labels yes I have a label maker I might just label it myself oh that's cute yeah thanks mom Hello friends, it is the next day. After Michelle left last night, I completely crashed. It was probably the best sleep of my life. Oh my goodness, as you guys know, I woke up so early yesterday and then we were just here and then we went to LA and then we went to another place and another place and we were just all over the place. So Michelle and I both were so, so tired. But now that I'm home, and it's been 24 hours since my big surprise with all the amazing golden retrievers and their amazing owners. It has sunk in and now I wanna like talk about it for a little bit. It was like the most amazing experience of my life. First and foremost, I want to say a big thank you to Michelle for putting all, all that together. It meant so much to me. It was meaningful, it was thoughtful. The efforts that she put to put all this together, it just, I mean, I'm speechless and I'm like never speechless when it comes to these things, but I'm like literally speechless. It was probably one of the sweetest things anyone has ever done for me and I loved it and I'm never gonna forget it. And I love that it was also my 30th birthday, so this is like the best 30th birthday ever. All of my friends and family really did make it special and you guys made it so special as well. Second, 
would love to thank all of the subscribers that helped out with this surprise. Thank you to Lisa, thank you to Jacqueline, thank you to Steph, thank you to Anthony for coming out and bringing your beautiful, sweet, kind, loving, gorgeous golden retrievers. All the goldens were so, so nice. I was, I just wanna let you guys know, I was on cloud nine. Like I had no idea that this was even possible. I was so shocked that Michelle like even thought of this because I probably would have never thought of it at all. She's just amazing. So one of my dreams and goals in life is to like be on a farm with like a bunch of dogs. Like I just love dogs in general. You guys know this. Carlos and I love, love dogs. We love rescuing dogs. We think it's really important to advocate for dogs and just have a voice for them. And so I just want to be surrounded by dogs for the rest of my life. And another kind of dream dream I have is I just love golden retrievers. It's a dream dog that I've always, always wanted. It was actually going to be our first dog when Carlos and I moved in together and we were like talking about getting a dog. But at the time we were living in an apartment and we didn't really have a lot of experience with dogs. So we went another route and then we ended up rescuing and we didn't really pick and choose when it came to rescuing. We just wanted to help out the dogs that needed a home. So we ended up with four dogs that are different breeds and they're amazing and we love them so much. You guys know all four of our dogs are like my whole entire life. But Michelle knew how much I wanted to be in a facility with golden retrievers and I cannot believe she made that happen. Like the idea was genius. Like I think, I, I'm just like blown away by the whole thing. And the subscribers that showed up, they were so sweet. So it was really cool because I got a chance to hang out with golden retrievers, but also meet my subscribers, which I mean, I can't ask for anything better than that. It was just so, so cool. So I just appreciate it so much. And I, I mean, I'm never gonna forget this 30th birthday. It was amazing. But we are home now and I wanna tidy up the house a little bit. Carlos and I just like effed up this whole house for the last two weeks. I think I'm gonna start with some eggs before I get lightheaded, lightheaded. And then we'll just kind of take it slow today, honestly. Scrambled eggs, kimchi radish. I know, so random. The lighting's really pretty today. Can we just take a moment and absorb, absorb, observe how good the lighting is? Oma made radish kimchi, which if you guys are new, Oma is my best friend's mom, and she home makes kimchi, and we always get a batch, and I'm so, so grateful. And she makes the best soybean paste. The best soybean paste ever. We love Oma. I always tell Michelle that I will do anything for Oma. Like, I will move mountains for that woman. But it is winter time, which means it's radish kimchi season, and kimchi is actually really good for you. So this is my girl breakfast. <laughs> it's what? super random. Mm. Also, if you guys haven't tried Dave's Pillar Bread, you guys need to. Ooh, show our friends the bag. So we started buying this bread. I think I mentioned it yesterday when I was getting ready. But we started buying this bread and it's healthier bread. But you guys, just because it's healthy doesn't mean that it's bad. It tastes so good. It is a little bit more on the pricey side. It's $5. It's really pricey. It's $5. It's called Dave's Killer Bread. It has this dude with a guitar on it. We get it at Target. It's this. It's really good though. Here, baby. Let's go return stuff. I have to return one thing to Amazon. Did I bring my lippy? I just got this. Summer Friday sent me this for PR. It's their new lip balm. You guys know I love their lip balms. And this is the new one. It's the Sweet Mint and it's minty. It like has a nice minty feeling on your lips and I love it. It also smells amazing. It smells just like mint. I really like this one a lot. It goes out pretty clear. So I really like it on days I'm not wearing any makeup. Okay, Amazon first and then Target. I have to return three things. So I'll probably do that last because I want to go to Home Goods. I want to have like a day to myself. So I think we should go to Home Goods and just see what they have out. I think Christmas stuff is out already, which is crazy, but not so crazy because if you think about it, start it like in one more month, people are going to start decorating for Christmas. I know I put up the Christmas tree like right around Thanksgiving. So when we have family over for Thanksgiving, the whole place is really pretty and just like cozy and everyone's in the holiday spirit. So I think Christmas stuff is out. I want to start looking at that. Halloween is in two weeks. I don't really think I'm decorating for Halloween. I basically just want to go to Home Goods, but I don't have a reason to go. It's just one of those days where I just want to hang out with myself. That's what we're doing today. I have my Stanley. Shout out to my best friend, Brooke. This has been my current favorite. I absolutely love this color. Okay, let's go. We are here at Home Goods. I hope I find really cute stuff inside. And then 
I honestly never go to our TJ Maxx because they never have really good stuff there. So I think we're going to do home goods and then return two things, three things at Target and then pick up dinner because we are not cooking tonight. <laughs> I was right. Christmas stuff is out and about. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is only the beginning. So I don't think we should, we should go like ham because they're going to bring out more Christmas stuff and I think it's going to be way cuter. Oh my God. Uh, like you guys, this is my favorite time of the year. Like I have goosebumps going up my butthole talking about this like this is my favorite time of the year oh my god i want this you guys i want it so bad is it ugly oh i wish michelle was here with me she's my better half okay she's my common sense oh my god i want it so bad it's so pretty for the holidays look oh my god i love it they also have oh these might come off huh over time like in the washer i don't know i might have to hand wash them oh my god i'm gonna send this to michelle oh, there's a freaking christmas tree okay so you guys saw that one right there's this one that has a christmas tree oh my god these are so cute how much are they 13 dollars for two they're just so pretty oh my god i don't know i don't know whenever i come to home goods i always look at their premium pastas because they have really cool shapes that sometimes you can't find at other places like right now they have like christmas tree pasta shapes and i really like them because they also have like the giant sizes which is really fun i'm in the blanket section and i can't wait for like the christmas blankets to come out they're not fully out yet they're still in like the october fall section so i think i'm gonna have to come back for the blankets i found some pillows here like that's really cute it has like little santa claus and then this one has like only retriever on it how cute oh my goodness they're huge ornaments look it's huge ornaments oh my god they're so cute there are Christmas toys for the dogs. Usually now is when I start collecting toys because we always give them a ton of new toys for the new year. We really do need to go through their toy collection and see if we can donate any. Some of them are all ripped up because they just, oh my gosh, old man loves that. They just love like ripping things up. Let's see. It's really uh, quiet today and I'm coming here on a Friday night. They have these holiday blankets, but it's not screaming Christmas yet. This one's cute. It has dogs on it. I found these two and I think they're so cute. This one has boba, dumpling, and like a take me out or a takeout container. And then this one has a chili pepper, hot sauce, and a burrito. So cute. They're $6 for three. Such a good price. I always get all their toys on Amazon or Home Goods because it's just affordable and they have so many options. Like, look at all of these options. My boys love when like the toy squeaks. So anything that squeaks is their favorite. We'll come back for Christmas stuff. I saw this section, so cute. I'm gonna look for a little coat. Old man needs a coat because we're taking him camping in January. And I wanna get him a little like puffy jacket or a little blazer or something. And I wanna get Riley stuff too because I feel like I can never find anything for Riley because he's so big. Oh my gosh, these are, so is this a raincoat? This is a raincoat, friends. How cute. I'm at Target right now and you guys know how I love these. They're like 50 cents and they're so perfect for or serving your kids or like if you want something super light well look they came out with cuter versions they're like really hard plastic and it's so nice they have this tray and then these plates these look like the ones that i have at home but they're just way lighter that's so cool we're patiently waiting for toys oh man do you, okay bio man <laughs> i think cooper wants the dumpling riley's here riley sit baby riley sit riley Cooper, come here, baby. It's your turn. Casper, get your chili, baby. You gotta sit, right? You didn't sit. Okay, bye. God, he's so big. Look how big he is, babe. Oh my God, you're so big. He got groomed today, you guys, and he's huge. Look how fluffy he is. Do you like the burrito? Riley. Okay, friends, well, cheers. I'm going to drink this and just call it a night. We'll probably watch a movie and then go to bed in a little bit. The boys are 
pair out as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. It was such a great memory to share with you guys. I'm so glad that now we have this footage to look back on. It was so eventful, so meaningful, and overall I had the best birthday ever. Um, it was exactly what I imagined for my 30th this year. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my mukbang channel. Make sure you're also following me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll have it all linked down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!